the baby chase. For couples with fertility problems, it can be a frustrating, heartbreaking race to run. Now the birth of the McCoy septuplets has revealed the awesome power of fertility treatments. This morning, our Dr. Emily Sine starts a new series with a challenge to the assumption that fertility problems are just women's problems. And the news that 40% of the time, it's a male problem, but one that can now often be solved. Emily, good morning. Good morning, Mark. Imagine a man who had one child more than 20 years ago being told that he was the reason that his wife could not get pregnant. It may sound unlikely, but that's what happened to a California man when he and his wife tried to have a child. Here we go. Here we go. Just two Here we years go. ago, Barry Stoutenborough of Modesto, California, couldn't imagine that he would be the father of eight-month-old Madison and Rice Elizabeth. I was beginning to get real discouraged because I had been through a lot, lots of tests. Yeah. Because I reminded if I wouldn't have been able to have children, how devastating it would be to me and my wife. We just didn't think we'd ever be able to conceive a child naturally. He and Trina sought help from a specialist, Dr. Paul Turek. Stoughton Burroughs are a young couple who came to see me, and he didn't have a sperm count. Dr. Turek directs the infertility clinic at the University of California, San Francisco. He sees a lot of men who can't believe they are the reason their wife isn't getting pregnant. They don't talk about it much. Um, they feel they should be quiet, but uh, if you look in their eyes, and you listen to what they say, they, they think about, they look down and think about all the things they might have done wrong when they were growing up that might have led to it. It's all right, it's okay. As it turned out, Barry's problem is not uncommon among infertile men. It ended up that it's okay, it's he okay. uh, had a blockage in his reproductive tract things. ducts. Uh, and that's my job, is to fix blockages. I'm basically a plumber. And um, so we went to surgery, fairly lengthy surgery, and unblocked him. Following surgery, Dr. Turek told the Stoutenboroughs that it would be at least a year before they could hope to conceive a child. Just three months later, Barry got a surprise phone call. She had got one of those little uh, home pregnancy tests thing, and, and she did it. It came yeah. up positive, so then I, I called Barry at work and said, Hi, Dad. And he was just about dropped the phone. And, Oh, it floored me. He made me take three other tests. I was so afraid. I didn't want, I didn't want any false hope and no, no mistakes made. And then more exciting news. Twins. Oh, man, I like to say it. <laughs> then all things start going through my head. Two cars, two bathrooms, the whole nine years. These days, when Barry looks at his daughters, he still finds it all unbelievable. Miracles, miracles. I didn't think this was possible. I look at him now. I can be walking down the hall at work and I can just picture him playing or something. Barry is lucky that he was able to undergo a surgical procedure that has a much higher chance of success than it did just 10 years ago. For men who have obstructions like the one Barry had, microsurgery, perfected over the last 10 years, can in many cases, but not all, correct the problem. Just want to bite those little baby know, tongues. So now, he had a baby, he fathered a baby 20 years right. ago. Uh, do we know what caused this obstruction? We don't know. In Barry's case, we don't know. And in many cases, we really have no idea. Could be an injury, could be infection. Doctors really don't know but the microsurgery can repair it if done in the right place with the right doctor who's had a lot of experience it can be fixed well we uh, saw the obstruction there what other cases of male infertility that are out there that can be fixed well I think the probably the most common problem is a varicocele which is like a varicose vein around the testes which actually prevents the testes from making sperm properly or enough sperm so that's one of the more common problems also easily fixed with surgery but for it to be detected have to be evaluated by a, a doctor and, and know that it exists for the surgery to take place and correct the problem. Cute little girls. What's up for tomorrow? Emily? Tomorrow we're going to talk to a woman who went through a lot of fertility procedures herself and the, uh, was able to successfully have a baby, and that's tomorrow on our series, The Baby Chase. I tell you, you know what I like about this series? It looks like there's good results coming uh, after some hard times. Absolutely. 70% of the time, there can be a happy resolution to infertility. Emily Sine, Dr. Emily Sine, always a pleasure. Jane?